Hi, I'm Max of the Constru team, and today I'm going to show you how to use Constru for eTabs. After installing Constru, you will find Constru in the Tools menu. Now, if you run Constru, you will see all the models you have online. I'm going to select my new model and choose Download to eTabs. Now Konstru is going to compare our eTabs model versus the Konstru model online and will tell us about the differences. Now here you can see that 197 elements will be added to my model and I can explore those by type. And I see also that grid lines for example are not supported by our Konstru plugin. So this means those 8 grid lines won't make it into our model in eTabs. Now if I click finish download, this download will be performed. Now the first thing that happens is that Constru will prompt you for material mappings because Constru has some materials that are coming in from Revit. You can see those names, for example, Constru cast in place gray and concrete cast in place concrete. Now you can select to create a new material for this or simply map it to an existing material. I'm going to map those to concrete 4000 PSI. And click OK. Now the next mapper that pops up tells you about profiles. In this case you can see that there are various profiles listed here. Some of them are floor or wall profiles and others are just simply section profiles. Now you can map them to existing profiles or just select create new. You can just click OK because create new is the default selection. Now after this is done you can explore your model and you will see that this is the model as we had it in Revit before. Now you successfully downloaded a Constru model into eTabs.